Congress and the White House have reached a deal, an unprecedented deal, to boost the economy. It's nearly $2 trillion. While Congress has not voted on it yet, the news of this means that it's expected to pass both chambers of the Congress tomorrow and continue on that way. This could all be very good news for our economy. Let's take a little bit of a look at the breakdown here. Take a look. 3.4 million people filed for unemployment last week, according to Morgan Stanley. That's nearly five times more than the highest week ever. People who get paid by the hour are the most hardest hit here. And now, according to the Bureau of Labor Statistics, three out of five Americans work for hourly wages. And again, this legislation is unprecedented, and it's all meant to boost the economy as we all impacted by the coronavirus. I want you to take a look at the breakdown of what is in this stimulus package here. So this would send $1,200 checks to many Americans, create a $367 billion loan program for small businesses, and set up a $500 billion fund for industries, cities, and states.